Are you a guy that works from home all the time? Or t tell me a little bit about yourself as far as uh, what you're doing professionally and how you got started here with Beckstone. Yeah, so I, um, yeah, I work in I work in healthcare technology. Been uh, been in various roles and companies um, ever since uh, coming out of college. But most recently, I work for a company um, that's based in San Francisco. But I, I work from home um, doing uh, account management, su customer success for a company that uh, works with large employers and offers a benefit there to their employees that helps them find the top quality doctors, whether it's a specialist or a primary care physician. Uh, we also do like remote oh. expert opinions and that type of thing. So I've been working in that capacity, working with uh, large employers and just helping them uh, direct their employees to the best care. Yeah, match.com to the doctors then. So there you go. That's exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and and being able to vet out the best because there's so much information and misinformation. So, who, who do you trust? And and the third party, I can see a market for that. That's awesome. Big market. Well, for and, and, a lot of big data. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I was just you know if you've been to a couple jobs, I'm just assuming that you're a self-directed IRA guy that you started at some point to search out maybe making some investments on yourself for yourself. Uh, is that how it all got started? And yeah, you got I kind of was just looking at different, uh, different opportunities, different ways to diversify the portfolio, um, you know, had, you know, pretty much everything in, uh, you know, stocks and that type of thing from a, you know, a Roth and a, so in a uh, traditional IRA 401k perspective. So just really looking for, an opportunity to kind of diversify that a little bit and um, yeah so um, started kind of poking around and looking for opportunities and um, was able to, to find Beckstone and uh, leverage some, some relationships and kind of work through the process that way. Okay so diversification you threw that out there um, was it just looking for different asset classes then uh, is that what you were really looking for with the self-directed IRA? Or were you actually looking for real estate, I guess would be the question to ask. Um, yeah, I think I've always had an interest in, in real estate. You know, I've heard lots of good things and, you know, but, but the, the big intimidating factor was really just having to know so much about that space and joining, you know, uh, you know real estate investment uh, groups. Um, and, and really educating myself, I didn't really have the the time or the the you know just the the time yeah essentially the time or or resources to, to go focus on that. Um, so you know when I kind of came across Beckstone, it, it, it really seemed like a, a turnkey type of option, and um, so you know kind of working through that process, it's it definitely given me the ability to. Get into that asset class without necessarily being an expert in it. So, two two different assets. One is your time, and then the other is let's make sure we get something that grows over time. So, yeah, uh, sure. So that, that. So, you ended up independently finding Beckstone. Were you referred, or how how did you uh, how did you find Beckstone? Um, I think I got a call from Kevin one day. Um, and um, we just kind of started chatting um, and kind of okay. uh, piqued my interest. Um, yeah. So one, one thing led to another then. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. So what, uh, when you did start in, in investigating it, what, what resonated most with you early on once you started thinking about it and hearing from Kevin? Yeah, I mean, I think a, a lot of the due diligence and market resource or market research that was being provided to me, I mean, I certainly didn't know um, anything about the geographies or, or properties that um, was, was being presented, but um, definitely um, felt like there was a lot of data that, um, that kind of supported why this, uh, the particular markets we were targeting was, was emerging and there was a lot of, of good opportunity there. Um, so I really appreciated that, and um, yeah, it just seemed like a, a good a good chance to kind of get my feet wet in, in the industry, as opposed to trying to find something locally. Uh, I live in Denver, and um, 
you know, it, you get a little bit of sticker shock at the, at the property values and things like that, just because things have been um, skyrocketing lately. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you you want to make the right decision, but you also want to you want to buy at an opportunity where it's not gonna it's not gonna break the bank um, on on a single asset. Well, it's funny you brought that example up. I was going to ask what what resonated most was the was it the potential upside in the cash flow, or was it being able to get into real estate and maybe protect the downside a little bit? Because as you just mentioned, Denver's had a lot of appreciation lately. So, which one of those yeah. resonated most with? I would. I mean, I would say that you know the upside potential. Um, you know, just seeing the the the. the potential industry coming to the local area um, all the all the jobs being created um, you know naturally you're going to see uh, as you know supply and demand and, and results and um, you know property value increases naturally from that so um, it, it definitely seemed like a, a good opportunity um, to, to take advantage of yeah yeah so when you started uh, researching real estate did you find yourself with additional information that helped you in other areas as you looked at your 401k account and other investments that you also had or did it expand your thinking in other areas as well yeah I mean it definitely um, expanded my thinking in just you know ways that I can you know like I said diversify the portfolio and I think the peace of mind that I had is you know I, I didn't have to you know transfer you know my whole entire um, IRA account into this asset class. I was able to, um, you know, start with one property and then you know kind of see how it goes and and determine if you know um, you know building up that asset class even more makes sense um, kind of as I as I see the results. Yeah. So as a as a young guy uh, in your 30s and you're looking at you know potential, were you looking at things from a Five year standpoint, ten year standpoint, or are are you looking very very long term as as you look at your uh, investment portfolio? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking from a, a long term pers uh, perspective, uh, you know, over the long run, you know, certainly the retirement account, so they're they're assets that I wouldn't be able to access um, responsibly until retirement, um, and you know, kind of understanding, you know, the specific asset may not. Uh, may not be that long but you know the the asset class and being able to uh, you know leverage those properties into uh, acquiring additional ones in the future um, you know is, is, is definitely something that um, seems uh, you know seemed like a, a good a good thing to, to, to look into and really um, come forward with so, so long-term potential cash flow is probably the, the number one driver then for you yeah, for sure. As you looked at it, yeah. Well, it's interesting, you know, being being young, uh, you, you haven't thought about this yet, yet probably, but at someday retirement means you've decided to cash your last paycheck, and uh, then you have to rely on yourself. And uh, so that's, you know, one of the things that I've been finding out a lot of people have been appreciating is that cash flow aspect of the real estate is really the, the diversification part of it. Um, Absolutely, because it's definitely nice to have a, yeah. a consistent paycheck even after you start uh, stop pulling the train. <laughs> right, and uh, I've been in investing long enough to know that uh, account balances in IRAs, especially in the stock market, can uh, it's not so much about the account balance; it's about what the cash flow is going to generate. And and uh, sometimes sure. when you have those ups and downs, it's, it's, it can be challenging. So pretty wise decision to uh, to diversify like you said so tell me about the the experience um, what did what did you appreciate you mentioned that you know Kevin had reached out which got you thinking about real estate and then I'm sure you went through a bit of a process to get comfortable with that so what did you appreciate that made you feel comfortable about it and uh, helped you eventually move forward yeah, I mean, I think it was, um, you know, I I definitely had several conversations with uh, Kevin and, and Timothy about the assets and, the, you know, the opportunities and what's available and, and 
and all those different types of things and, and, and being new to it you know i certainly had um some levels of, of initial discomfort um so you know they really took a lot of time to um, answer my questions walk me through the process even as we were starting to begin um, you know setting up the accounts and those different types of things they had personal relationships um, with a number of the different parties so they were able to kind of um, help help me move along through that um, which is something I really uh, appreciated so it was um, it, it definitely um, was less um, less there was a, a lesser amount of friction than I anticipated in just completing the transaction um, and, and getting through that whole process. So I, that, was, that was something I, I certainly appreciated. As someone who's um, you know bought a few houses, refinanced a couple times, um, I, I was pretty surprised to see how much easier that was this was than, than those processes. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, so. I'm wondering if, as you were going through the process, or maybe even since you went through the process and, and uh, invested in, in real estate, uh, one of the things I like to uh, to learn is is what people say to other people, because that sometimes is the best way to understand what you do appreciate and and uh, feel comfortable about. So, is this something that you've brainstormed with other people about, or shared what you're you're doing? And uh, if so. Uh, how do you simplify the explanation of, of your investment with Vexstone? Yeah, um, you know, I would say, um, you know, he, he, an opportunity to get into real estate investing without becoming an expert in real estate investing um, would be the, probably in the most simple terms I would I would put it in. Um, so that was something I certainly appreciated. Now, uh, I'll say that I I did bet a lot of this out with some people that I know in in real estate um, and just kind of um, you know you know wanted to ensure that from their perspective it passed the sniff test um, so that that was a big part of it for me um, and just kind of distilling it down having them take, take a look at those different types of things as well um, and you know thankfully um, in, in, in my experience so far it, it, it certainly has passed that and um, you know, I'm, I'm starting to see that that cash flow come in. So, um, you know, I, everything is <laughs> everything that was promised is, is being delivered. So that's been uh, amazing. That was a wise choice run it by somebody you have trusted and independent third party and in, in getting their advice. But that that is a very good decision on your part. And, and you know, with the self-directed IRA, it's tough to, well, you can't invest in it. and manage it yourself so looking for a partner like this is very very beneficial for the IRA Absolutely. Uh, yeah so is this uh, one last question is this something where uh, again you're so young that it probably talking about retirement planning maybe doesn't come up very often but talking about investing does come up from time to time is this something that uh, Backstone delivered uh, enough peace of mind where you're comfortable talking to other people yet uh, about, you know, what they do and, and encouraging them to reach out, or is this something where you're still getting more comfortable with the whole situation before you do that? Yeah, I think I'm comfortable talking about it, um, definitely from just the, the front end and, and kind of initially, uh, you know, getting cash flow and that type of thing. Um, you know, obviously there will be something to be seen and, you know, once the, the properties are, you know, it, it's time to, to move on from the property and, and, and different properties and whether, you know, some of the, uh, the projections that were outlined, um, you know, as far as appreciation come to fruition and those different types of things, um, you know, that, yeah, that, that only comes with time, as you know, so, um, but yeah, I would say definitely from kind of the, the front end perspective of things, I, I've, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with it. Very nice, very nice. So is there any one piece of advice, or maybe there's more than one piece of advice that if if you could just throw out an idea or two on, on uh, what Beckstone partners can do to provide a better experience for you, what's one thing that you could suggest as far as potential areas where they can improve the experience? Um, I, you know, I, I saw some of the kind of different projections and I saw some of the one pagers on, you know, um, 
you know, how appreciation and how that all works and cash over cash and those different types of things. I think it'd be nice to kind of see that, um, you know, once the decision's made on the specific property and kind of like crunching the numbers on that specific, um, you know, my specific property and all that, um, I think would be a little bit more granular detail would be certainly helpful for me to see. Um, you know, I've started to see like the, the, the statements, um, the monthly statements for the, um, you know, uh, mortgage versus, um, cost, you know, taxes, all those different types of things, you know, net cash flow. So that, that's definitely been helpful, but, um, kind of being able to, to see those numbers plugged in from a modeling perspective once the, um, you know, the decision has been made. And then, so I can kind of keep that in my records. Okay. Yeah. So kind of a part of the delivery process is just to have that one, one pager that you can look back at uh, over time. Yeah. And I think that's, that's honestly, a good it even, I think it even helps from uh, having conversations with other potential prospects, people, you know, that I, I potentially be referring on. I can say, this is my property and this is what, what right. this is what we're seeing. This is what we're projecting and, and that type of thing. So I think it, it it, it really helps um, give the story even more substance. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we'll have to put you on the marketing team so you can keep <laughs> thinking of other good ideas. So, sure. uh, but I, Adam, I, I was looking forward to, to this and just having a conversation with you and finding out how things went. So I appreciate you in, in investing your uh, time today. Is there anything where maybe you were expecting a question from me that maybe I didn't ask or uh, was this pretty much what you were expecting today? No, I think this is this is great. I wasn't wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but this is I guess in line with what I would have expected. So um, yeah, this is this has been great. All right. Well, well thanks for uh, your advice.